Hi, thanks for joining me in this live board series. My name is Yair, and today I'd like to talk to you about the dynamic revisions option in the R81 console, a feature that for some reason does not get the spotlight it deserves. So let's get down to business. What is security management? Is it just a collection of data tables with a nice user interface? Or is it something much more? <clears throat> At Checkpoint, we believe that our security administrators need to preserve history of all the changes in a way that lets them log into past versions at any time and install them on the gateways. In pre r versions, revisions were in fact saved on the server as backup of the management database. This backup is used to restore the database in case of disaster. As you can imagine, this has an increasing effect of the available free space of the security management and introduced the inherent problem of what happened when you need to do an audit or quickly search the policy revision in r suite. So good news, we changed that. The new r Smart Console architecture has a built-in revisions. Every time you publish session changes, an additional revision is created and automatically stored. Awesome! On top of that, the r security management architecture also automatically stores the full history of changes with very little footprint. And so, it consumes far less disk space and it created much faster than before. Problem solved. Now let's see how this works. Hierarchy.time Security Management Server contains two databases. Postgres, which is based on tables and their relationships between them, and Solar, which enables efficient textual searches across all the data. In addition, a logical process called CPM manages these databases and provides reliable validations and revisions for our users. The Smart Console GUI application and the REST APIs are in fact the only ones that can interact with the CPM. Now let's say that a user wants to enable a NAT on a host. The host is currently stored in Postgres like this. Object ID. Name. IP. Address. NAT and the version ID. Now let's fill in this table. Name London V M. IP address let's say 10 10 10 45. Enable NAT is no. The version ID is 541. The version is stored in Postgres like this. We have the object ID, the active admin, we have the description, and the publish time. Now let's fill in this table. Object ID is far one. F, F is Bob. The description will be post in our case London V M and the publish time will be as follows.
Great. After the user enables an app and publishes these changes, an additional role for that host object will be created. And the version that it was modified from will get updated. Like this. The publish time on the version table will be updated, will get updated as well. Time will be like this. So as you can see, the versions are really small and only contain the incremental change or difference. This lets you store a large number of versions without worrying about disk space. If you want, you can purge all the versions at any time. After a while, we will have a list of versions which we can sort by their published timestamps. More than that, because the object ID of each version is linked by the object that were changed in that version, we can calculate the state of each object in any given session. The login and which object you see mechanism are made by the CPM process. So it is not something that the GUI client needs to worry about. So a user can log in with read-only read mode to version 501 and see the London VM host NAT is disabled because the time that NAT was originally enabled was linked to a version that was published as disabled. This is how the audit logs are generated. For version 542, an audit log is generated from a list of rows that are linked to version 542, as well as their previous value. To get the previous value, a silent login is made to the previous version 541 and get the current value of enable NAT for the host London VM. We can also log into the version in read-only mode, collect the data, and compile that policy from uh, that point in time to a gateway and effectively recover from a disaster with one click, all while keeping the post changes we made available for observation on the management server. This brings our session to end. I hope you can now take comfort in our built-in revisions feature in the Checkpoint R80 Smart Council. Join the conversation, connect and share with Checkpoint experts and the entire community at community.checkpoint.com. Thank you.